Hi everybody, welcome in. It's shave time. Woohoo! Shave of the day. I'm Mark McLean, and today I am heating up some water right now. Not only on top of my brush, but also on top of my shave bowl. It's one of those uh, metal bowls, and it tends to uh, transfer heat really nicely. And this brush here holds a lot of water. This is a silver tip badger, finest grade. Dennis Coluccio hand turned this brush for me. It's an awesome one, and I love it. Today's pre shave oil is something new and different. Razor is the brand. It's got black pepper and cardamom in it. It's got cranberry, cypress, frankincense, grapeseed, lintsey, uh, meadow foam, neem, olive, patchouli, raspberry, rosemary, sandalwood, vitamin E, and wheat germ oil as well. And it smells rather nicely. I've used this earlier today just to see what it would do. I put a little right under my beard. And I thought, well, if that's that uh, strong of a mix, maybe it will be too strong for me. You know, maybe it'll be, because I have sensitive skin for the most part, maybe it'll be too strong for my shave soap and drown it out or overpower it. Maybe it will overpower me <laughs> and cause my allergies to flare up. I already had al allergy problems this morning anyway. But uh, no, it hasn't. It hasn't done any of that. In fact, the scent dissipated fairly quickly, or at least quicker than I thought it would. And so I've got it on right now. I think it's going to be a great pre-shave oil. Standing up your whiskers and, you know, doing all it's supposed to do. By the way, isn't that a, a cool-looking bottle? I don't know. Can you see it? Cobalt blue is the color. I don't, I don't think the light's transferring it very well. But it's cobalt blue and, and uh, a masculine scent to it that I like. All right now, <clears throat> excuse me, I am blooming my prorasso and I'm going to pour some of this into my palm and just put a little on for the scent so, so I can savor it. It's a, I guess it would be considered a hard type cream. Uh, I guess it would be a cream, but maybe not. It's, it's definitely hard, the substance is. But uh, after you, you know, let, allow it to blossom or bloom, then it does great. Sandalwood is the scent from Parasso. And it's uh, one of my earlier shave soaps that I love. I really do. And I'm loading up my brush right now. It turns to uh, lather fairly quickly. So I'm just going to get enough on it to load up my brush. I'm not going to uh, stir it inside there. I'm going to pull out my uh, metal bowl now. This way you can add a few drops of water if you need to, and it's no big deal. I like this. I wish some of the other guys would show their mixing. I like to see the consistency of the other soaps that the guys are, are mixing up, but uh, usually they're always down here and you hear it. So I'm uh, going to try and <clears throat> hold it so you guys can see, because if anyone's new like me, you know, you want to see stuff like that, what consistency it's making. This is sort of a, an ivory looking marshmallowy type. Uh, lather that I've got right now and that's what it looks like if I put it on that fast you saw how quickly I did that and it tends to make the the covering that I prefer which is a slick coating and that's what I like <clears throat> and the scent wow sandalwood <laughs> Definitely love Parasso. I should have used the Parasso pre-shave oil, huh? Nah, I wanted to use something different, and I, I just scored this off of uh, eBay. 
not the soap, but the pre-shave oil, razor brand. And it, uh, it does really a great job. I'm not sure on, you know, as far as shaving goes, I haven't used it yet to shave with, but I did use it earlier this morning to try it out on my neck. <clears throat> and it coated really nicely and uh, the smell was awesome. It went away fairly quickly. Like right now, I can no longer smell it. <laughs> Imagine that, you got on some copious amounts of sandalwood, buddy. Hopefully, hopefully everybody's having a great Monday. The weekend sort of went quickly, to me at least. I've been waiting around for this to come in the mail today. <clears throat> the pre-shave oil. Razor is the brand. Original, organic pre-shave oil. Developed by Razor Inc. <clears throat> Ever heard of those guys? Me either. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, please. Okay. Washing off my hands and drying them on my towel. Oh, check this out. Are you guys scared? <laughs> my uh, daughter is so afraid of clowns. She will kill me when she sees this shirt. She'll say, Daddy, how dare you buy a shirt like that? <laughs> she will. Doesn't like them at all. I want to pose a question to you professional shavers. A guy told me that you shouldn't, this is a guy off of uh, Etsy, guy I met. He said, you shouldn't, uh, he's just giving me some tips. I asked, you shouldn't uh, use your straight razor every day because of what it does to the steel. What's he talking about? Do you guys uh, have a clue? Tell me, please. Well, someone told me that early on and I have been rotating Two to one. I've been shaving two times with this for the most part. <clears throat> and then one shave with my double edge. Two shaves with the straight, two with the double edge. So that's what I've been doing. And it's working so far, but I'd like to know the reasoning behind it. Almost dropped my straight. One thing about this one, it's it just seems so small in my hand. The five eighths. I don't guess you guys have the same troubles, but I don't know. Maybe you do. I know Thomas Burgess has big paws, so uh, maybe he's gone through this already and he knows what to do or how to cope with big paw disease, big hands, and a small razor. I talked with Anthony Esposito this morning. Been going over some of my shaving techniques and uh, <clears throat> back and forth. He said that everything looks good. Just keep doing what I'm doing and everything will fall into place. I told him that before I was using too steep an angle on my razor, such something like that, 45 to 55 to 90 degree angle. <laughs> and he said, I'm doing good now, so what's the worry? Just trying to, uh, to learn as I go, of course. <clears throat> I 
I'm just dipping the tip of my blade in the water and then wiping it on my towel. Lee Abrams told me that if you do uh, get your razor all the way wet, then it can get wet down into the crevices of the pivot. And rusted, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Woke up coughing my head off this morning. Weather outside is cooled off a lot. Cooled off considerably. And I think it's because we're, uh, you know, getting ready for spring. Or <laughs> I wish we were getting ready for spring because we're getting ready for fall. And, <clears throat> you know, it's right around the corner. I'm hoping that's the reasoning. <clears throat> And I forgot to take my allergy medicine. My doctor has me taking Claritin daily. Ever hear of Claritin? You've seen the TV ads for it. I was taking Claritin before you could buy it over the counter. Nowadays, it's it's legal to buy it over the counter at your local pharmacy or, or Walmart even. So, times have changed. I don't guess a lot of people died while taking it, so they said it's okay. <laughs> Mixing up a little bit more here, adding some water to it. love this brush serious it has just enough backbone to it in case I need to really press down and uh, I'm add a little more water to it too <clears throat> enough enough uh, backbone to it in case I need to really press down and get some action going I need to exfoliate with it or whatever the case may be I wouldn't have been able to whip that big frothy ladder, lather, can't even talk today. I wouldn't have been able to uh, whip that frothy lather up if it didn't have a big backbone to it, you know? And I like that too. And just in case I want it, sometimes I, I like a little thin coating. Other days I, I whip up a big lather, just whatever the day has for me, I change every day. And... That's what shaving should be all about, I think. Maybe not, but that's the way I see it. Shaving should be what you want it to be. Your hobby, your pleasure, your time alone, your enjoyment, right? Going up on the money pass, as Anthony says. <laughs> the money pass. I noticed Anthony Esposito has been using a a little helper lately. He's had his daughter helping him out in the picture, in the background. She's the official razor, I mean not razor, but the brush holder, right? <clears throat> Isn't that cute? I remember when my daughters were that same age, I raised three of them. The first one had one, well first she had twins and then she had another so a total of three. The second one had one. He's 12 now. And then she remarried and uh, had twins. So two daughters of mine had twins. And then we're at six kids right now. <laughs> the guy she remarried has... Uh, a kid as well so I developed another grandkid along the way the 
Plus, in the meantime, all of that was going on, my younger daughter, Hillary, Hillary Brooke, the first one was Tiffany Rhiannon, after the song Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks. Tiffany Rhiannon, Mallory Dawn was the middle child. Oh, is she ever the middle child? <laughs> Just ask her, she'll tell you. And the youngest, Hillary Brooke, she had a little girl and now is currently pregnant and one is on the way. So we will see what we have. I like the way this cream washes right off the blade. Pro Rosso does a great job for me. Right now I'm checking and it feels great. I've really gotten down the, the stropping by watching videos from everybody. Every person that has helped me out there, you've been so great. I could never name you all because I would leave somebody out. Now, other than the spot right there, I could actually stop shaving and be a two-pass two uh, socially acceptable shave guy today. But I'm going to go ahead and do a third just to uh, get some of the uh, trimming up. And to be able to smell some of this magnificent scent. Oh, this oh, de sandal wood. <clears throat> I love it. When I tried to do this, okay. There you go. <clears throat> Sticking my tongue under there really helped just then. I noticed that. That's something no one told me. I had to learn on my own. <laughs> well, it looks like you would have learned that shaving with a regular razor. <clears throat> Not really. Didn't have to stick my tongue under my teeth or between my cheek and gum or my lip and gum my teeth and my gum, like I did just then. Not on a double edge, or regular razor, or a mock, like I used to use. I'm glad I don't use the mock. <laughs> no more mock for me, man. Oh, by the way, Good news on the front. I, uh, some, some of you guys already told about this. I've gotten my wife <clears throat> to use my uh, shave brushes and my soaps a while back. And she's doing great with it, but she wouldn't stop from using her mock I don't know, Mach 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm not sure what it was, but she wouldn't give up the mock because, <clears throat> excuse me, of the bad experience she had a long time ago shaving with a, a double edged razor. Uh, you know, the straight won't even come close to her legs. But I'm trying to get her to use a, a, my double edges, you know, and I've got three different ones to choose from. 
And I'm saying, honey, please, 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 just, you know, just use the double edge. It's changed since then. Well, last time I used them, they cut my legs all to pieces. And I told her, well, they're different now. And they are, they really are. I said, just use my Miracour one time. Just use my Mercure Future, and I promise you will have a different attitude. Closing shop. <clears throat> so she has agreed. She hasn't done it yet because she just shaved with my uh, brush, my soap. So I figured out a way to keep her keep her shaving in the wet shaving and that is I'm having a brush made for her <laughs> she likes pink so it's gonna have to be pink but it's going to be extra special and <clears throat> I think she's going to really freak out over it tricks that we do as men to get our women to do what we want you got to trick them. They're not doing it peacefully, you know. Captain's Choice Sandalwood scent today is my aftershave. This stuff smells good. It's great aftershave. Hmm. A lot of alcohol in it, though, so it's, it's going to burn a little bit, you know. Not too bad. I like it. I'm, I don't say I'm going to, I'm not going to say I like it better than my, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Sandalwood, and I'm going to do a double splash. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to do a double splash just because I like it that well, but, you know, it's good. And hopefully to make my face uh, all better and well, a little natural skin care from Burt's Bees, and this is some aftershave balm for uh, rehydrating your skin and it does a great job as that it says leave your your skin as smooth as honey <laughs> okay i'll go with that burt's bees they do a great job anyway so why not oh status i am there baby <laughs> thanks for watching guys it's been a great shave a great day and uh make sure that you uh, get the hobby of wet shaving passed out to someone out there in your community. Maybe it's just your spouse that's not uh, wet shaving yet. Maybe a girlfriend. Uh, maybe your brother, your son. I got my son into it recently. What does he do? He calls me up saying, Dad, I need a straight razor now. He thinks he's ready. He's just been going a week. <laughs> Thanks for watching once again. Have a great day. Peace, everybody. <laughs>